Come on, I had to get a pun like that in. Hello, Marcus Bronzy here from How To Kill An Hour, and today we're going to be gazing into the stars with this episode of What's In The Box. Now, the box is so big in today's episode that I don't know if I can get it all on the table at once, so we're gonna have to come over here for a second. To this box. This is the Unistellar Telescope. It's a smart way of us being able to look at the stars without, shall I say, being very, should we say, good at using telescopes. If you have zero like knowledge of telescopes, this is supposedly supposed to help you admire and appreciate the stars. So let's get in to this box. Prepare to be amazed. I'm ready, I'm ready to be amazed. Ugh. Ugh. Right, first things first, we'll just bring this over here. This is the tripod, obviously, uh, and this is a heavy duty tripod. So as well as it having a spirit level on the top, it's got this massive hole in it, which is definitely there to accommodate quite a big looking telescope. telescope. We'll find out how big it is once we get into it. Also got a little bit of Unistellar branding on it as well. And it is, one, two. Let's put it like this, it's, it's tall. Long. So that's that. And time for the star to show, the telescope itself. Woo, I'm gonna have to stand up for the rest of this so uh, you might see my crotch a bit more than you usually do on these videos. This, as well as this being a carry case, this is a rucksack, which let's be honest, with something like this, which is this big, and it's also quite heavy, is necessary. It also has the little clippy bits to clip around your waist so that you don't hurt your back when you're carrying this up a mountain and want to have a look at Uranus. Come on, I had to get a pun like that in. Right, so let's have a look. Whoa. So I'm gonna presume that's the telescope and this is the bag of kit. Let's see, oh. That's Velcro, it's stuck in. That's good, I wish more bags were like that. Right, let's get into this bag of kit first. Another Unistellar logo here. And in here, we have got, oh, e e we've got a box of accessories, which mainly just look like tools. Okay, so it's just this bag of tools. Open it up and there's some bunch of Allen keys in there. Chuck that back in, and then here it is. Oh, it's not light. It's big. Oh, here it is. There's a sticker that says here, remove before use, because you have to set this up with an app. I'm not actually gonna set it up now. Can I just say, this looks like a rocket launcher. It does, doesn't it? So yeah, here it is now, the EV telescope. Now what makes this special is that it actually connects to an app on your phone and that's how you can control it, record images and also take pictures. I'll also be able to have a look through this manual peephole here, which has got some Nikon technology in there. So if you're a fan of the Nikon lens, then um, rest assured, you've got some of that going on in there. But yeah, and once you connect to the app, you should be able to see everything that you can see through the viewfinder through the app itself, which means you actually have a bigger display there without you having to look into it all the time. Um, other stuff we have in here is called a, oh, I can't remember the name of this. I can't remember the name of this, but this is something that helps you focus on the stars. It's like helps you to more accurately focus on the stars. I believe a Russian man put this together and this is some special filter that you put on which we may need to use later if my focus isn't too good. It's a focus ring here, which helps you focus. And that's about it really. What I need to do is download the app, connect it up, and then start looking at the stars. So I'm gonna wait for it to get dark. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna fire it up, connect it to the app, and get looking at the stars.
So here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to put together the EV scope on the right hand side whilst I talk you through the app on the left hand side. Now, first things first with the app, I did mention there was a special type of focus that you could use with this special grilled system on the front of it. Now, that is called the Batinov mask. Now, I'll zoom in on the app so you can see that <laughs> as it happens, my focus is quite amazing. But basically, you have to make this little cross look like a cross, stay like a cross with the X and a line right in the middle of it. If the line's right in the middle of the X, you are perfectly in focus. If it's to the left or to the right, you are not focused. So once you've done that, the EV scope will then start taking images of the sky, cross-reference it with its maps, and then work out exactly which direction and what stars you are pointing it at. Once that has been done, well, that's when you can activate its enhanced vision mode, which the best way of me explaining is kind of like when you have a, a modern camera phone today, if you have your friend, your subject standing right in front of the sun, so the sun's blaring at the camera and they're standing in front of it, usually with old cameras, you wouldn't really be able to see much of your friend or much of the sun. But now your camera's really smart, takes lots of images, picks out the best exposures for your friend and the best exposures for the sun. So the EV kind of does the same thing. It picks out the best exposures so that there may be stars that you couldn't see with your naked eye, but with the EV scope, you can now see them and that is a really cool thing and the longer you leave enhanced vision on the more photos it takes and the more stars you can see but that's not where it stops there's another mode and that is explore now let's gather our thoughts for a second the ev scope knows what direction it's pointing in so it knows what stars it's looking at it also knows how to take lots of images and make the stars and constellations more visible for you. So what they've done in that second tab on this app is made a nice little interface where you can search through the visible constellations, select one, and then the EV scope will automatically move and point in the correct direction and then start to take images. But whilst you're waiting for those images to appear, what you can do is have a little read about, for example, the Great Nebula in Orion. Uh, and that's worth saying as well, once you get to know your constellations, you can also type them into a little search window and check them out. Right. So once you've done a little bit of reading around it and you've let the camera do its thing, you start to get cool pictures like this. Stuff that I honestly don't think that I could ever create if I was just given a telescope and told to get on with it. And once you've actually found these constellations and you viewed them in this real time view, you can export those images and have a look at them or send them to your family members or anyone else that you think might like them. And whilst the images in the app look OK, once you export them, you do get a much better resolution and you do get much more impressive images like the ones that you can see here. Anyway, this has been the EV Scope. I've been Marcus Bronzy and I found this a great way to get into astronomy. If you want to get your hands on one of these, make sure you check the link in the description. And in the meantime, don't forget to click like and subscribe and we'll be with you soon. Bless.